Now the ayah of dua. Subhanallah, every word of this ayah. We begin with the word idha. Idha is trans. What idha? Sa'alaka ibadi, right? So it begins with idha. Idha means in English when. When. There's a difference in English and in Arabic between when and if. I want you to understand the difference between when and if. Bil Arabiya naqul in. In. وَلَمْ يَقُلْ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى وَإِنْ سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي قَالْ وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي So what's the difference between if and when? Let me tell you a story. There's a mother. She sent her, her son joined the army. And he went to war. Now she's missing her son. And she doesn't hear back from him. No calls coming, no emails coming, nothing. He's at war. When you talk to her about her son, does she say, when my son comes back, I will be very happy. Or does she say, if my son comes back, I will be very happy. Which one does she say? She says, when my son comes back, I'll be very happy. She does not say what? If my son comes back, I'll be very happy. Because if she says, if my son comes back, then she has accepted that he will die. If she says, when, then she's expecting him to come home. You understand? When you lose someone, and you really want them to come back, and your heart cannot accept that they won't come back. You don't say if, you say when. Allah says, when my slave asks you. He does not say if my slaves ask you. Why? Because he's not saying, oh, maybe they won't ask. Allah is expecting you to ask. He's waiting for you to ask. It's not just a possibility. It's like Allah is saying, when are you going to ask? Subhanallah, idha. It's a, there's a tawakku, there's an expectation. There's a talab, there's a love inside the word idha. If Allah was talking about people, He didn't care about them. Whether they ask or not, who cares? He would have said, in sa'ala. He said, idha sa'ala. Then there's sa'ala itself. Sa'ala fi'il madi. You can say, idha yas'alu also. Idha yutla alayhim. Idha comes with mudari', idha comes with madi. Idha comes with the present tense and it comes with the past tense. When it comes with the present tense, it means over and over again. Meaning, if my slaves ask you over and over again, that would have been إِذَا يَسْأَلْكَ إِذَا يَسْأَلُكَ عِبَادِي But the ayah says إِذَا سَأَلَكَ سَأَلَ is the past tense. The past tense, يُشِيرْ إِلَى الْمَرَّةِ الْمَرَّةِ الْوَاحِدَةِ is one time, something that happens one time. Meaning, I'm waiting for my slave, if they, they can only ask about me how many times? Once, I'm not even waiting for a lot of times, I'm expecting just one time ask. Then he says سَأَلَكَ they ask you, Yani Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah is waiting, some sahabi says, that I want to know more about Allah. Who is he going to go ask? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ibadi. And then he didn't say, Sa'alaka ha'ula, these people. Sa'alaka al-ladheena amanu, those who believe. Sa'alaka al-mu'minun, the believers. Sa'alaka al-muslimun, ashabuk, none of these. He said, Sa'alaka, idha sa'alaka ibadi. My slaves, my slaves. And he didn't even say ibaduna or ibadallah. He said ibadi. The e at the end of that means I, my slaves. Allah uses my in the Quran, my. You know sometimes Allah uses he, sometimes he uses we, sometimes he uses I, right? You know that, right? When does he use I? He only uses I when he has a lot of love or a lot of anger. There's only two times. If you read an ayah of the Quran, it has I in it. It's either Allah is showing a lot of love or He is showing a lot of anger. There's only those two. There's no normal situation. This is an ayah of a lot of love. So He says, Ibadi, not Ibaduna. My slaves, they're mine. You know, even when, you, when someone is distant from you, but they're yours. My brother, my sister, my mother, my father. There's an, it's, not, it's not just you own them, you love them. When you say my to someone, it's an expression of love. And they're ibad. Now these people may not be worshipping Allah, but He still calls them ibad. 